What's up guys, Aiden here, Ace on Landscaping. Welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we're back in my studio yet again. This is probably gonna be the final video you see here. I'm sorry, I know I'm getting very used to this setup, but it's getting very, very warm out and it's almost time for me to get out there and start shooting outside. That's okay though, although we might have one more video here. I'll talk about that today in this video. Without further ado, let's get into the video. talking about raking in your lawn and the importance of that and how to get out there and make your lawn better for the season getting an early jump on this year what's going on everybody we're finally back in the backyard I'm sure you saw our intro inside it is a beautiful day out today it's probably about 65 degrees or so we're in the backyard but we're actually gonna be doing some light raking back here today which is awesome finally getting back here getting in the backyard getting it ready for our pre-emergent that'll go down in a few weeks so you know me there's a B-roll sequence for that. So without further ado, let's get into that backyard B-roll. same position mine's in it's nice and thawed out soil temperatures peak around 52 during the day and they're down to about 45 at night the soil is nice and thawed out the weather's been very very warm around here you can actually get out with a dethatcher machine or a rake and actually rake up your lawn to stand your grass blades tall and then give it a fresh cut to help the grass stand tall and promote better growth when the spring comes out one of the reasons you want to do that is because Typically, when I stripe in the fall, you're laying the grass blades one way this way and then one way that way. So the grass ends up being matted down in two different directions, which isn't good for the lawn. So I actually went through and raked all those stripes back up in the opposite direction, and I actually pulled up all the dead grass and also stood the grass nice and tall, nice and straight. Hey, that's kind of how the lighting is on my face. Dark, light. Anyway, guys, I suggest you stay tuned for next week's video because we're going to be talking about pre-emergent strategies and different options you can use for pre-emergent. I'll briefly touch on it in this video so you guys know. If you're not familiar with a pre-emergent, it's a preventative for weeds, typically crabgrass. We're gonna be diving way more in depth into pre-emergent in next week's video, and then we'll be bumping right outside into our content for outside. But I wanted to talk about some pre-emergent options for you guys next week, so you guys have like a one to two week buffer period so you can buy your pre-emergents and get them down right about the same time that I'm getting them down. Now, right now you may think, well, I'm a Southern guy, so I, I, I can't really follow what you're saying. I totally understand. I typically market my audience at cool season people and the professional industry for my landscape side, but I like to educate the homeowner on their lawn too and also my customers so that they know the applications they're getting down on their turf as well. But other than that, guys, we're gonna be touching more on pre-emergence in next week's video, so make sure you're staying tuned to the channel for next week's video. Also, I wanna recommend you to a site called Greencast Soil Temperatures. I want you to type in your town and find out what the soil temperatures are like in your area. When you get a good idea of what the soil temperatures are like in your area, you can get a good idea for when exactly you're gonna be throwing down your pre-emergent. That way you can prepare and plan for it. I know here, um, we're gonna be probably about March 28th, but then you move up south, I mean, you move up north, and then you're looking at like April 13th for like New Jersey. Now, if you're moving down south towards like North Carolina, you're probably getting yours down about right now because your soil temperatures are probably sitting right around that 55 mark. Now, I suggest you do this on a day that the soil is actually thawed out. I did it yesterday on March 2nd. It was 65 degrees out, so the soil was nice and thawed. Today is March 3rd, by the way. It was nice and thawed, we weren't having any problems raking or anything, but if it is hard, you're not gonna be able to rake up all that dead grass that's sitting down there as it's just gonna be frozen to the ground and you're gonna be out there wasting your time. 
Now for a small lawn, like me, I'm at 3,000 square feet or so, you can just get out there with a rake and rake it. That's not a problem. For a bigger lawn, you can use a deep thatcher machine or even a small lawn. And then a bigger, huge lawn, you can actually uh, buy an attachment for the front of your tractor. My friends over at Detach Manufacturing make an attachment for the front of your zero turn or your stand on mower. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can pick one of those up. I think it's about two, three hundred bucks, but it's actually a really good investment. You can use it in the spring and fall if your lawn is gigantic. I'll leave that in the description down below. Other than that, guys, to sum this video up, it's very important you get out and rake your lawn as it can promote the turf to be better as it comes out in the spring. It can also help get all your products, your liquid products, even your granular products down to the base of the turf. That way you can reach the ground. Your blades of grass are exposed to sunlight and they're just all in all a more healthier, better rounded turf. Other than that, guys, if you have any questions about these applications, as I'm sure there are many questions that I may not have covered in this video, leave your questions in the box down below, as always. But with that, I'm Aiden from Maze Lawn and Landscaping. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Remember, come back next week, and we're going to be talking pre-emergent strategies. If you have any other questions, you know where to leave them. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.